Today is Saturday, September 7th, 2019, and I'm doing a vlog today from the Kenosha Transit Authority. It's their streetcar days where they have the historical streetcars. There's seven of them that are out. and um, So usually they run one a day, but today they have them all out, so you can go on tours of them and go on the rides around the loop, which is, I believe, two miles long, and it's in Kenosha, Wisconsin. So there's a sign. They do this once a year. So there's the green hornet and get closer to these. We can actually go in the garage. There's the wheel housing. I believe they alternate them on what they run. Like maybe every hour they switch them out. Okay, so here's the Green Hornet. These were all restored. Go in the garage in a minute. There's the doors. Well, that was a little fast. So they have them all lined up here, and then they, I believe they have one or two out on the actual line. There's a total of seven. Some are from Toronto, some are from St. Louis, and I believe Philadelphia. Put the numbers up there, and then I can put what they were or where they came from, I should say. And I believe I hear it coming now. So here's 4616. Again, I'm gonna try to get a list so I can put which ones are which. See how much of a glare there is there, but. Now this one's probably better. I was overlooking the driver's area, having the windows open, probably because when they use them later, they want to have them cooled off. Let's go a little bit wider here. There we go. So here's 4609. As it steps in. Here's inside 4609. I believe, I know some are handicapped accessible now. I don't know if they all are yet. underneath I'm not sure which one this one is. It's 4617. I'll put an indicator in the top right of where this trolley streetcar came from. Maybe they actually have a list.
Here's some of the snow clearing equipment. Down the winter, it only runs on the weekends, like January and February, and then March limited during the day. And then uh, summer it runs every day. That's where we're looking at all the streetcars in the yard. Here's the actual maintenance building for it. I believe they use it for um, other things too, like uh, they have a railless streetcar system. So Metro is actually, I don't know if you can see it, it's actually down there, maybe a block away, and this goes right by it. So you can actually take it in from uh, Chicago on the Metro line and then take it here and then do the trolley ride. There's the actual path that it takes, the two mile, it's basically a circle, but it goes right up to the lakefront by the lighthouse. Oh, there's the schedule. So it's January through February, January and February, Monday through Friday, they're closed Saturday and Sunday, 1035 to 615. Then the month of March, they do open up again weekdays, 10 to two, then Saturday and Sunday, 1035 to 615. So it seems like the weekends are always 1035 to 615. And then the summer, which is April through December, is 1005 to 635 on the weekdays. It's a dollar a person or three fifty for a whole day pass. If you want to keep riding it. Oh, there's the other um, rail list system. And models. What was yours? Made out of Legos. Do you guys see this big helicopter? There's a man up there. Maybe that's flight for light. These are all model streetcars. Like, oh, look, seven people. Oh, I have a And there's a So here's inside the yard. Or the garage, I should say, not the yard. So this way the workers, the trolley can pull in. They can just go down the stairs down there and then just walk without, you know, crouching over and actually work on the undercarriage of the uh, trolley cars. Hey, how are you? Good. Good. Here's 4615. Now this one is the one they use for Halloween. Get this a little, there we go, a little more level. So they're still, uh, they're still fixing the floor on this one. This must be an eighth one that they got. And this one, you can see they're actually doing the work on it. This is what they start out as when they get them. The streetcar magnets. And we're back to the actual streetcars. non-rail trolley. They were going to extend the line, but I guess it was too much work for the um, 
all the underground utilities would have cost more than it would have been to move than it would have been to actually extend the line. There's a streetcar sign and then the trolley sign. There's a municipal building. I should say they redid it recently. Very modern. It's about two blocks this way, and then it's going to go back down another street. So we're at 56th Street. So now it kind of goes up the center of the 56th Street. Pretty much pick up almost at every block on this side. rumble to the actual train. Store things around here. Getting different companies to come back in and re mostly restaurants, which is good. A lot of bakeries. That wine knot is pretty popular. The wine store right in the building right there at the corner. 
are all this is where AMC used to be the AMC motor company and they pretty much knocked it all down supposedly they extended it too and then they made this condominiums or townhouses retail and then just whole public area which will be coming up on in a few minutes they have a civil war museum and a children's history museum as well And on Saturdays, they have the farmer's market. It's all in there. Ooh, deep fried cheese curds. Bike valet. Stamper cheese. I'm gonna walk to it. Oh my god. It's really busy. It's really hard for them to cross the road here because everyone's going to the farmer's market. Museums are on that side. Civil War and Children's Museum. Now we're coming up on the lake front. I'm using the Crane M2. I'm using the Crane M2 with the A6400 and the 1018 lens from Sony. It's the only way to really get these little mirrorless ones stabilized. This is the harbor where they fix up the boats. Kenosha Lighthouse through the trees there. There's Lake Michigan out there. So here's where the uh, Red Witch, the tall boat that I went on a couple weeks ago, I'll put a link up onto the side there for that. Actually turned out to be a really nice day. It's really nice this harbor too because you can walk pretty far and go all the way out there to the lighthouse back there but you take that long walk in they have the Kenosha History Center so we're picking up some people now A fan of overlooking the harbor inlet. There's a view out the front window.
back out the window. A little overshot there. Putting another one on, they're putting the orange and white one on, so we have to wait. I really got one of these. I don't know if that's actually a better view or not. I see things that would be I remember that actually something actually got hit by a shot. Yeah. I was the day I was training with another girl. She was training and she got hit by a car. Yeah, I didn't go through the 56 shirt. Yeah, we're not riding the way. I'm hitting the side. Tell you what, though. It's a straight crossing. Fire plastic is no match for 1940 steel. Now we're on the orange one. We have one. We need to go on two cars. That's the one we just came off of. Does everybody see the big crane back here? Mark, do you see the big crane? Now we're on the orange one. They're pulling the green one into this, the yard again. So now I'm on the other side for this one so you can see the other stuff. This is uh, San Francisco, but there's a there's a route up there. Mooney's is to the left market and Wharf Street service. I'm assuming it's San Francisco. So from kind of inside. Again, this is on the left side of the trolley now. So again, coming up on the metro, you can see it up on the platform. That's the far west side. Again, it's a two mile loop. Had a little interruption there. The battery died on that camera. But we're back. We just missed one turn. And there's really nothing to really see. Post office is over there. I don't know what all these buildings are. So right now we're crossing 8th 
Avenue and 56th Street. They have a really lot of parking down here that's free, which is nice. So the Rhodes Theater's coming up. We have to stop at every road here. There's Mike's Donuts and Chicken. Looks like a Bane Chase, and I guess the other one was just a branch that I saw back there. So the Road Theater, which is uh, local performing arts. Community theater, that's what I'm thinking of. Lakeside players are out of there. Vinny's Restaurant. Slip 56 is really popular all the time. Fortunately, on this side they don't have the street sign, so I don't know where we're at. So these are the new townhouses that they built. So we're coming back up on the farmer's market on the other side, so it's really busy here. So they shut down the road here, and it's on both sides. They filmed the other side last time, to the right, this time I'll film to the left. And on the left, it's behind the Children's Museum and the Civil War Museum. So there's the Children's Museum, and on the far side is the Civil War Museum.
There's a Civil War Museum. The far one is the Children's Museum with the pointed top. And then the other side of the farmer's market. There's more of the farmer's market, so it extends pretty far down. They really get a lot of people down here on the weekends. I'm gonna switch to the back. It's kind of neat because it has these curved windows. I don't know if the camera's gonna show it, but it actually curves in. You actually see the lines there that power it. This is a backward view. Those are the stations right there. Just kind of kick out there to the left of this view, right of the trolley. We had an electrical strike a couple weeks ago down here with the streetcar barn. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it blew out some of the safeties that were in the line. Oh, right. Stand around and switch right there. This big thing you gotta flip over. Thought phone is full of muddy, muddy water. And oh, it's actually in the ground, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's in the ground. It's always full of junk in there. He wiped his hands off. Yeah. Now, that was a oh, it didn't take him long. No. Just one big lever you have to throw? Or? It's a big lever you have to get up and pull over. Sometimes this one here seizes up and you have to go and. I don't know if we have one on here. It's a big bar hanging. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I'll go in there and it's a persuader and I'll go in there and talk. <laughs> Sometimes they're not in here. You gotta walk. It's like two blocks to walk into the building from here. That's yeah. a long walk. Yeah, this, not this switch, but the one, there's another one that's in the yard. You just switch off between tracks going to the building. Yeah. Um, like the green one's on one side and then the other one's on the other side. It's different. You gotta switch off in there. Well, that one there has sprung up over there. Streetcar's going over it and it sticks right in the bottom of the streetcar. No. Yeah, that's always fun. Oh, they're down here. Oh, you saw them? They're, 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 they
Thank you. You're welcome. Have fun. Yeah, thanks. How much is it? So I jumped off the trolley here. Slowly creeping across the street. There's a boat cutting through. So this is the end of the Kenosha streetcar days and the farmer's market. I just figured I'd just wrap it up. So this is once a year, usually the first or second week of September on the weekend, Saturday. This year it was from 10 to four. Farmer's market, I'm not sure what time that starts. But they have all kinds of food. They have, at the farmer's market, they have food, coffees, artwork, and all kinds of different stuff to try. So that's it for the vlog. Click like if you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more content like this, and that'll wrap it up.